Mankind would not be where it is today if it were not for one thing in human society. Leadership. From the cavemen of old to the global governments of today, all have to give tribute to this title of man. Without it, we would have crumbled into a mess of chaos and anarchy long ago. We would have never ventured beyond our own front doors to spread all over this great planet. Without someone to take the masses in hand and show us what lies beyond the horizon, we would have rotted alone, huddled in our caves. But what exactly is leadership? Webster's Dictionary defines leadership as the power or ability to lead other people. With that question answered, we will eventually, along with others, come to the question that is the subject of this video. What kind of leadership styles are there, and what do they mean? To answer that, we will talk about each of the six types of leadership styles that exist. We will start with a style of leadership we all love to hate. The Lazy's Fair Leader. Lazy's Fair is French for let it be or leave things alone, and that is exactly what this style of leader does. They have a tendency to just sit there, watching from afar. Their passive, hands-off attitude usually result in very little leadership at all. Many times, others in the group will have to step up and take charge or nothing will get done. We have all had that boss, that boss that always makes you wonder, what do they do around here? Why does it seem that everyone else does everything and our boss does nothing? They are unreliable and indecisive, and we all hate them. The lazy fair leader is the antithesis of leadership, but without yin, there can be no yangs. Let's move on now to a polar opposite of the lazy fair leadership style, that of the autocratic leader. In the medieval Greek language, the term autocrat was used for anyone holding the title of emperor, someone with absolute power, a leader who is the sole decider for his followers. Think dictator, if you will. Stalin, Hitler, and Castro are just a few examples of the extreme side of this style of leadership. On a lesser note, your parents are a bit autocratic in their leadership of you. What they say goes and there's no arguing. A true autocrat cares only about the task at hand and not the relationships of those around them. Now that we have discussed the two extremes of leadership styles, let's look at the styles that float around in the space between. If there was a middle in the range of leadership styles, it would more than likely be the style of transformational leader. These leaders have the ability to inspire their followers to act towards a greater good that is beyond their own self-interest. Their greatest weapon is that of the gift of gab. Throughout history, transformational leaders have occupied both sides of the moral fence. Leaders like Christ and Buddha are transformational leaders who took their followers and led them to a world that was beyond their means. A world of good, and love, if you will. Over the fence, leaders like Genghis Khan and Attila the Hun lead their people into a world of war and death. Millions of people transformed by their leaders into something that, as individuals, they would have never become. We come now to a leadership style that creates everyone's favorite boss, the transactional leader. We have all had dreams of a boss that rewards good work with incentives and bonus. They exist, and some of us have been lucky enough to have had one in our lives. The problem with this style of leadership is that that person applying it usually is only worried about the here and the now instead of the big picture. This can make for some hectic crunch times and higher odds of failure. It just goes to show that not all that is good is gold. The last two styles of leadership are very familiar to almost everyone you know. They occupy the world of politics in America. 
The more obvious of the two is that of the democratic leader. This style of leadership is formed by the equality and consultation of its followers. Think about the modern day politician. There is an article labeled Democratic Political Leadership in the New Media Age. It explains what happens when good politicians become part of mass media. The end result is that good democratic leaders are defined by their authenticity. Party leaders are seen as not just representing their parties, but being their parties. And if successful, eventually they may be seen as not just heading, but being the government. With all of this spotlight and near pop star status comes a great deal of scrutiny. It's hard to hide your flaws as a leader when you are under the constant spotlight of the current media. Now we come to the strange love child of autocratic and democratic leaders. The charismatic leader. Charismatic leaders have the gift to touch people through their choice of words. They are alluring, charming, and can encourage followers to support a grand vision or idea. They can turn the tides of a crisis or flood the world with anarchy, all with the mere presence of their voice. The smallest infliction in their voice can take a normal speech and turn it into a chorus for the ages. One noticeable charismatic leader would be Martin Luther King Jr. King was a civil rights activist in the 60s who led a nation in change with the sole power of his voice. Decades after his death, his speech is still honored for its movement towards equality. King made many speeches through his fight and his most famous one, I Have a Dream, still impacts current generations. It radiates personality because of his expressive words in his fight against inequality. His powerful words grace the majority of history books all over America to this day. What we have learned in this video is that to lead the world, it takes all kinds. From the charismatic, the wallflower, the dictator and crowd pleaser, history has had a moment for all of these. Leadership is powerful in all of its iterations. Think about what the world would be like if Hitler led more like Buddha, or if King led more like Khan. Think about how you will lead others. Which style would most suit you? Who knows, maybe someday, your leadership will be remembered as a moment that changed the world.